Sunday, November 13th, 2011. The motor is being pulled. <laughs> Cranking it up there. <laughs> My garage. Pump, 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 pump. We've done this before with a boat motor. Yeah. Yeah. We used to have a boat. I miss it. So this is the old one. Gotta come out because it's junk. Thanks to um, poor caretaking of the vehicle. Yes. People, do your oil changes and such. Take care of your cars or this will happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, keep oil in the vehicle. Yeah, keep oil in the vehicle. And get your oil changed every three months or 3,000 miles. Yeah, do it. Keep yeah. more than a quart of oil in there. Care for your vehicle. Obviously, they're expensive. And what was it? 700 for the new motor? Yeah. Coming in? Which is from a junk vehicle, right? Yeah. Car that got into an accident. So it was from a junkyard, so it's cheaper than you would and otherwise. Me, normally you wouldn't get done this cheap. Right. And yeah, they got lucky having my husband do this because he is very undercharges as far as labor goes. But whatever. So that one's pulled. The other one, now we gotta get this one out of here. The other one that's in the trailer out there in here and then in the vehicle. Yeah. This is a Malibu by the way in case you're wondering. Probably not. You probably don't care but anyways. Okay so we'll see you in a bit. It's time for the motor swapperoo. The old one's waiting to go out. The new one's being backed in. Can't see it yet. It's behind that coat. Alrighty. Yay. I wish you were here. I know you do. So, check it out. The new motor is lowered into the vehicle and now the tedious task of putting it all back together. And how one remembers where the heck everything goes? I have no idea. So yeah, auto mechanics is, yeah, it takes some brain work. But you know what? I have fun being out here. It's better than my job. I hate sitting at a desk all day. I should have went to auto mechanic school. We could open up a business. That would be fun. Yeah. It'd be cool to open up a business anyways, and I could just do the desk work. Yeah. And you bitch about sitting at a desk. Yeah. Hmm. But that would be more fun. Cause Damn. It'd be, no, it'd be better because it'd be for ourselves. Well, there's a difference. So, now we have a little bit of break from the car so that we can build a bridge and get over it. Get over it? <laughs> <No>! <laughs> okay, that was retarded. Actually, what we're going to do is go out by the deer blind after he's done building this bridge to get over the little creek that's back there or something, right? Yep. Yeah. So that we can bring out some fruit and carrots to hopefully lure the deer so that he can hopefully shoot one this year. Yeah, that's it. Uh, because where I shoot him at, it's across the creek, so I got to get him Yeah, that's it. So, yep. He's building a bridge to get over it. That was retarded. That's lame. Yeah. So what? I'm allowed to be lame. So before one goes out in the woods, I gotta make sure I'm bright and colorful because I don't want to get shot at. How do I look? <laughs> I can't see. That could be a problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's hot under here. I'm sexy and I know it with this orange sock looking thing on my head. Okay, so it's really a hat, but... My husband's hanging, hanging and no hunting signs in the area. 
There he is. Um, he got permission from the property owners here to hunt, but nobody else has gotten permission. So he's hanging those in an effort to hopefully prevent run-ins with others. Here we are. The blind is up there. Can you see it? Ugh. There's bugs flying around. It's warm out. My husband? <laughs> He called it the bridge to Terabithia. How cool would that be, really, to make a bridge when you go over it? You're in your own little alternate world. Sweet, huh? That'd be awesome, man. That'd be awesome. Nobody would know where you were, and you could just have your own fantasy life. Whenever you want. And then you just come back, and nobody would know. How cool. Yeah, I look ridiculous in this hat. It looks sucky on me. I don't like it on me. Oh well. Safety first. And here's the little creek that one must get over. Mm -hmm. Over there is where the fruit and vegetables are going. And we're not sure if this bridge is actually wide enough. Oh my god. Huh? Long enough. That's what I meant. Long enough. Yeah. You know what I meant, right? And it's kind of deep. That yeah. would be like knee deep or something, wouldn't it? Uh, plus it's mud at the bottom. Plus it's mud. Lovely. Um, yeah. I don't know okay. about this. I don't know if I want to try. Careful! He's bouncing on it. Dude. That ain't holding. No. <laughs> it went in. <laughs> so, he got across by using a little tree as a base. But, uh, yeah, the challenge would be getting back across. There's a tree he held on to. Because the fruit is over here. And so are the vegetables. And if you, if you think I'm crossing that, you're insane. Hello. He just got his foot in the water, man. Nah. Success. Came back for the fruit. Cross back over, and now he's gonna go take it around. Yeah, I'm not gonna try crossing it. Forget that, because I would end up in there in the drink, and I'm not thirsty. So yeah, we're not gonna try it. Nope. Even though it would be funny video, I'm not gonna do it. Sorry. Look at that. We haven't seen the sun all day, but yet it's giving us a very beautiful sunset and sky. Look at that. It's awesome. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Teddy bear. Teddy bear. Look at This is our other little boy dog. Teddy, look at the camera. Hey, hi. Yeah. It's too spazzy to say hi. Can you hear him breathe? I mean, he's so excited to be out of his kennel. Aren't ya? Mr. Samson. Huh? Mrs. Samson. Any Mrs. Samson, yes. Do you, Mrs. Sam? The kennel mate you always fought with. Yes. Our first boy. Yes. Hey, here we are. 9 16 p.m. Hair looks like crap. I don't care. <sighs> Spent the whole day, well, most of the day in the garage. We went out there about noon. Been out there ever since, except for the hour or so we spent at the deer hunting site. So, yeah. Kept busy today, so, yeah. It was an alright day. I have one more day off tomorrow, and then I gotta go back to work on Tuesday, which I'm not ready for but nah, no surprise there so again thanks to everyone you guys are wonderful and I love you and I will see you tomorrow for another adventure 
actually we should have the motor fully in and be able to start the car up and get it going and get it out of here. <laughs> Peace and love and smiles. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.